times go, it was simple When the ends low, switch the tempo When my friends go, it was simple When the ends low, switch the tempo I got right, I got heart, I don't die, I'ma fight I go down, bet I strike, I go hard day and night Yeah I go hard day and night, one to one, no surprise, see the hate in they eyes My brother's blood money bleed, I got the game in the squeeze What would you do for some green, what would you do for some blues Go pick and choose, a fam of the cheese, some people not built like that Some people get killed like that, pressure like water, lights, mortgage I been at bills like that, now I got kids like that, no wonder why I feel like that Some people go to war for nothing me, I go to war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Same ones just talk and run. Some people go to war for none. Me, I go to war for some. Some people need knives and guns. Oh, this is everything. With you right next to me. So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of The Build. We're super excited to share what we got up to this week with you guys, but we just wanted to take a second to say thank you so much for being here. Yeah, uh, we're so grateful for each and every one of you that have subscribed to our channel, and uh, we just want to say uh, every subscription, every like, every comment uh, really makes a difference, and so uh, we so appreciate you guys. That uh, just shows your support, and if you're watching this video and you like our content, you follow our channel, and you haven't subscribed, maybe consider clicking do that it. subscribe button. Also, I'm like falling. <laughs> yeah, smash the subscribe button. Do all the things. But for real, it means yeah. a lot to us. We so appreciate it. And we cannot believe that there's almost 2,000 of you guys on our channel. Like, we seriously can't believe it. So thank you so much. Um, and without further ado, here's this week's episode. Okay, Scott's tattoo is done and it looks unreal. It looks so good. Quick shout out to Mo. He's the one who did the tattoo. Tattoo Mo. Um, you can find him in downtown Raleigh. His shop is called Tattoo Supreme. Did a killer job. Amazing. I met him while we were waiting for curry. A new curry house had opened in Wake Forest. Anyways, long story short, I met him while we were waiting for curry. We talked tattoos. We followed each other on Instagram. And now he's got a tattoo. And how are you celebrating? Got it. Have a look. Having a cup of tea, you know, there's nothing like a cup of tea after a tattoo, you know, to just get that, that blood sugar going again and, you know, get that caffeine, you know. Guys. Oh yeah, that's, that's hitting the spot. It's, uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Guys, Scott pre-gamed by getting an entire carafe filled with tea <laughs> for our day today. Yeah. She's always got to be prepared. <laughs> Okay, so you guys deserve a quick little update. Um, obviously, the Bell's palsy is gone, which I'm super grateful for. Just still don't have full feeling kind of here in my job, but that's okay. It'll eventually come back. Um, but yeah, we've still been dealing with a lot of specialist appointments. Um, won't bore you with all those details, but lots of things are still going on. Uh, the Bell's palsy wasn't really the major concern. It was just the most visible change to me. Um, but yeah, a lot's been going on, but we're doing well. Um, celebrating every day that is good. Every moment that's good. And every time we see improvement, there you go. There's your update. Things are well over here in Raleigh, North Carolina and with us. Um, but thank you guys so much for all of your kind words and thoughts and prayers. And let's get back to it. First thing I'm going to do is start the bus. Yeah! All right, let it run for a little bit. We try to crank it up whenever we remember. Ideally, that would be like every week, but it's not always every week, so we could get better at that. Oh. But today, we are working on swapping a few more of the windows. Hopefully, we can get it done today. <laughs> but yeah, we're hoping to get it done today and tomorrow because we finally don't have rain. You may not know, but we've had rain for like 10 days. So, just finished work, getting windows done. Let's do this. Driving down the road that I grew up on. One 
once again It's when I pass your door the memories come back again Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days Teenagers with two Let there be Okay guys, uh, we're actually gonna wrap up uh, for the night. Um, it's been nice having a couple days back to back. That's gonna be uh, good weather for us to switch out these windows. It's always hard when uh, we're working on projects like that and like weather and stuff holds us up. Um, but yeah, we're excited to get it done. Also, look. Ooh. The beach out here, we're gonna go that way. Ooh. Yeah, no. Like, like that, look <laughs> at that. The bee tattoo's looking good. We'll see you tomorrow. Today is our third day and hopefully the last, maybe the last we shall see of getting these windows out. However, this emergency exit window in the back that we're trying to relocate up to the front where our eating area will be is giving Scott room for his money. Isn't it love? It really is. I'm so afraid of breaking in. Yeah. Did you really just break that? Wait, like permanently? Oh, I don't know. Well, guys, this is what Scott just gave me. Oh, bummer. I know that you are having a hard time right now. That everything seems to crumble around you. I know that you feel all alone in this world But you have to put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best Alright, update. How's it going? How are you feeling? Feeling good. The, uh, the emergency window gave us a little uh, bit of trouble. Didn't realize that it was screwed in, so that was a learning uh, curve. And then also when we switched them, the emergency windows, they're all the same size, but it seems like they install them a little different on the bottom. It seems like they put a lot of um, butyl tape underneath the bottom, uh, so that kind of raises us up. So, got to figure that out. Also, this guy fell off, so we got to also figure out how to put this guy. Back so on. everything went totally to plan, yeah. is what we're trying to say. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm fine. Just like any other day. So we will not be done with the project today, to say the least. What's best for you? All right, you guys, so we are just pulling into the waste 
field or whatever it's called, the dump site. That just sounds so intense. Um, but I think that's where we're going to leave you for this week's episode. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure to leave us some love. Um, do the whole little thumbs thing. And yeah, we're excited to share our upcoming projects with you guys. But until then, we will be back next week. On next week's episode, we finally reveal the message as to what we're adding on the back of our mural. So make sure to come back and check it out. But until then, leave your guesses in the comments below.